Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Priceline haul. Um, Priceline last week had 40% off all cosmetics so I went a little bit crazy. Um, I'm going to show you everything that I got. It's going to be a long video because I just went overboard. So I'll start with my Astralis products. So firstly, um, I really wanted to buy the Astralis Velour Lips liquid lipsticks, but I couldn't decide which color that I wanted to buy. Luckily for me, they had these really cute mini liquid lipstick packs. Um, there was only three to choose from and I couldn't decide, so I got all three. First up is the Darks and the Reds. Um, these ones have black through to bright red, black, bright red and all the colours in between. Um, even though we are coming into summer, they're probably more winter colours, but I'm happy to give them a try anyway. I don't tend to stick to the seasons. Next we have the Nudes and Pinks. So this one has, as it says, Nudes and Pinks. Um, they're not really my colours, but I thought I'd give them a try anyway. Um, I'm trying to get a bit more into the nude colours, so... We'll see. And lastly, this is my favourite one. This is the Brights. So it has colours ranging from bright orange over here to purple and pink. And oh, I'm really excited to use this one. Next up, I got the three Astralis Metallics eyeshadows. They're like a really highly pigmented metallic eyeshadow, but it's kind of like a gel consistency. Um, I picked up the colours Lana Del Grey which is like a greyish kind of bluey purpley toned one. Um, this one is called JZ. It's a bright gold. And this one is Guns and Rose Petals. It's like a pinky peachy metallic colour. Next I got the Astralis Show Some Cheek Colour in Sinful. It's a gorgeous like toasty brownie colour but it's um, really pretty. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying that colour because most of the cheek colours that I have are a bit more pinky mauvey toned. So this would be nice. Next I got the Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz. Um, I do enjoy using a finishing spritz to finalise my makeup look and get rid of the powdery finish. And lastly from Astralis, I picked up the AC Ontour Cream Contouring Kit. Now, I'm not a big um, contourer, but I thought I'd give this one a go. Just open it and show you what it looks like. I can get it out. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the powder one, but it says cream. And inside... Funny enough, there's contour colours. Alrighty, so that's all for Astralis. Um, next I've got a fair bit of Maybelline products, so I thought I would um, show them all together as well. First up is this Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the colour 220. Now I already used the colour 120, but now that summer's coming up, um, it's getting a little bit light for me. I may have to mix these, but we'll give them a try. Sticking with the contouring theme of things, I picked up the Master Sculpt Contouring and Highlighting Kit from Maybelline. This one's in the shade dark, medium to dark. They do also have a light shade. Next I picked up the Maybelline Nude, the Nudes palette. Um, it's a gorgeous um, neutral palette with golds and browns and all those gorgeous kind of colours in there. Um, I Oh, I also picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 10. Next I got a couple of eyeliner products. Um, tiny bit overboard I think, but I picked up the Master Precise Eyeliner. Um, many people on YouTube have been talking about this, so I thought I would give it a go. I'm not big fans of liquid eyeliner, mainly because the only few times I've tried it I've really failed. Um, however, I bought another one, which is the Hyperwing. Uh, I thought I'd try that one too. It's got two different um, thicknesses. There's a thin and a thick. Um, so, you know, that'll give it a different look. So I'm happy to try that. And also I picked up the Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner. Um, I've not used a gel eyeliner in a pot before. So that'll be interesting. See how I go. 
That's all from Maybelline. Um, I picked up a few different other brands of different things, so I'll just show you. So from L'Oreal, I've picked up the False Lash Telescopic Mascara in Waterproof Black. Um, I prefer waterproof mascaras personally, but that's just my personal opinion. And also from L'Oreal, I picked up the Brow Artist Plumper in dark, medium dark. Um, as you can see, I have quite big brows, um, so they do need a lot of work, so I just like to try all different things, and I've heard good stuff about that product, so we'll give it a go. Next I got some products from Bourjois, I think that's how you say it anyway. I picked up three of their Rouge Edition Velvets. Um, I've not tried these before, but a few YouTubers do talk about them from Australia, and I think that I they're worth giving a go. I picked up this a gorgeous reddish pinky colour in Framboise, uh, another pinky colour, this one is Ole Flamingo, it's a gorgeous deep pink. And lastly I got this nude colour um, called Nudist. Also from Bourjois I picked up this waterproof eye pencil in Purple Night. Um, I love purple on my eyes, so I thought I'd get this pencil because it's purple. Um, what else have I got? Oh, I just picked up a um, gel pencil, eyeliner pencil from Essence. It's just a plain black one. I just need a new one, so I thought I'd give that one a try. From Face of Australia, I picked up their translucent loose powder. It's quite a big... Um, container so we'll see how long this lasts but I definitely love setting my foundation with loose powder because I have quite oily skin and it just works beautifully to set especially to set under the eye. From Revlon I picked up this skinny electric blue liner. I know I said I didn't like liquid liners but I just couldn't go past this colour it's just amazing. Um, and lastly I picked up four brushes from Models Prefer. Uh, firstly I picked up this liner brow brush it's very small uh, little end there. Um, the one I currently use is from Zoeva but it's just a little bit big so I feel um, this one might work a lot better for me. I picked up this other brow brush and it has a spoolie on one end and a gorgeous little um, angled edge to do your brows so you know I'm happy to try either of those. I also picked up this highlighter and contouring brush from Models Prefer. It's a lovely small tapered brush um, to do your contouring and highlighting and seeing as I bought all these products for contouring I thought I should um, have a brush to apply it with. And lastly I got this powder and bronzer brush. Um, again it's a just a larger version of the previous brush. It's lovely and tapered to put on your powder, your bronzer. Um, I thought I would use it with that translucent powder that I purchased. Um, something I bought that wasn't in the sale was this uh, Batiste dry shampoo. Now I'd never used dry shampoo before mainly because I have dark hair and I feel that um, I'm always worried that the dry shampoo you'll be able to see it and it will make my hair look grey and gross and ugh. But I saw this one and it's for dark and deep brown hair so I thought I would give it a go um, and I'll let you know because I go to the gym now quite often and my hair gets all gross and I don't want to have to wash my hair every second day because I have quite long hair and it's just a pain to wash every day. Um, but yeah, that's my haul for you guys today. Um, please subscribe if you like this and thumbs up and um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!